Good morning from a very sunny Lalande where life is back to normal after the end of the summer workshops and the volunteers and I are just catering for B&B guests, discussing important topics of the day like what love language are you and relocating last night's unwanted guest, an endangered dormouse. Good luck with the dormouse relocation services. Thank you very much. I'm going to go find a new beautiful home. And you've got the cake for him. We have the cake. Good. Okay, we need to wait for the car. Stephanie, what are you working on? Okay, we are doing a household love language test because apparently there's an online test to tell you your love language and it's very important for the three of us to be able to express our love for each other properly and comfortably. I'm already having problems with the first question. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even got the first question. Oh, it's more meaningful to me when A, someone I love sends me a loving note, text, email for no special reason or B, I hug someone I love. Your test is better than mine. Natalia, what is your love language? Well, I'm not surprised by this. The acts of service is the first one and quality time. So yeah, the phone thing, it's a problem. Just for you to know if you've seen this. <laughs> All men out there, don't play on your phones whilst you're with Natalia. No, please, don't do it. I've just finished preparing this bedroom for Sophie from the Chateau de Saint-Ferriol tonight. She was on the same episode as Escape to the Chateau DIY as me, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about the bedroom. It's called the Chambre de Roger, which might seem a very strange name for such a feminine bedroom, but we kept all of the original bedroom names when we bought from the previous owners. And this was the Chambre of Roger, the valet of the Marquise de Nadayac, who lived here in the early 20th century. The wallpaper is a very old French paper. It's so beautiful. There you can see a little boat with palm trees. And then in another area, you can see in the background a little Chinese pagoda behind a lake. I love this paper so much. And I use these colours to design the rest of the room. The bed is an original 18th century French lit à la polonaise, which I love. I bought it many years ago in Christie's. But the uprights to hold it all together were missing. So I had to go to a local blacksmith to ask him to make them. And I just covered them in silk. And then I bought silk from the factory shops in Sudbury, Gainsborough Silk Mill and David Waters factory, to create this bed with the apricot, which I think is a really lovely, light, sunshiny touch next to the blue, which fits in with the wallpaper. And then I made the curtains to match, with another little flash of apricot inside the swags. I love the tiebacks because I bought them in my early 20s when I was literally living in my friend's cupboard under the stairs in London and I clearly was very optimistic that one day I would have a house to put them in. And I slightly think of this as the Venetian room because the chandelier is also from Murano near Venice. My father bought it for me maybe 20 years ago and it was in storage all this time whilst I had nowhere to put it. And finally it's found its home next to the Venetian mirror. The little painted wardrobe is also Italian, which is why I've put some prints of Venice in here. It was yet another gift from my father, whom I miss every single day, but I'm reminded him in all of these things, and most importantly in his paintings everywhere in the chateau. The tea set for one I also bought with my father, only about a year before he died when we went to the factory shops in Stoke-on-Trent, and this is from Burley. And the colours are so perfect with the wallpaper. We hid a bathroom away, tiny little bathroom, inside the cupboard in the wall. They're just big enough for a shower. And to do. Well, the room is all finished and I hope Sophie will be happy for her stay here. Jack is now recovering from his very first chateau injury. I'd like to describe what's happened to you. Well, yesterday after risking my life to paint the ceiling, I took upon myself to cut the ham and I have blisters. It's really, it's really kind of oh, tragic. Oh, well, they're it's, actually kind of nasty blisters. Yeah, they're kind of not great. That is a yeah. specific chateau injury. So, yeah. so far, only two workaways have been injured here. Okay. One, sabering open a bottle of champagne and the other cutting parma ham i think that, we we that, do i think those stylish. might be the most bougie injuries i've ever heard of <laughs> i'm glad you got one of them i mean i'm sorry about the blister though oh no i'm happy with it. it's a great battle scar you know 
I wanted to show you the epic pile of ham that Jack created, but we ate it. So that's all that's left. Oh, Jack, you might you might need to cut a little bit more ham. <laughs> <laughs> more injuries. <laughs> but Natalia wants ham. <laughs> Sophie's arrived just in time to join us for a little candlelit concert in the chapel. And I'm sorry that it's so low light that I can't really show you the chapel properly, but it's really magical and I wanted you to be able to hear a little bit of it. <laughs> plan. We're cooking up a little project. Something that might give people a little bit more of a dimension on some of the castles. That were in Escape um, to the Chateau DIY. Some of the tips that we might have. A few warnings about money pits. Ways to save money. For example, I know that cutting a mayonnaise... I know. <laughs> no, no, we're not allowed to say that. I've been seen cutting cutting a mayonnaise jar yeah. in half to get the Some people have been laughing out. at us because we save money on things on like... On the little things. Yeah, save money on the I little know. things and waste money on the yeah, big things. Yeah. That's our ethos. <laughs> So anyway, we're the people to listen to for money-saving yeah, tips. Money saving tips, tips we're your first yeah, I mean, stop. Come to us. <laughs> <laughs> you should maybe listen to me a little bit more when it comes to decorating tips. More, more than the money saving. I think the thing I'd be good at is using local materials and using traditional building techniques, yeah. doing things with nails. There are lots of so you really lots of non-toxic, not expensive, natural... Alternative so I'm going to have materials. to come to you for that advice. You would. <laughs> but I'm sure you know it all too. I mean, you haven't got varnish on your tiles. You've got linseed and terps. Yeah, linseed it's and terps. It's that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. And that's where we really save money, isn't it? No, where I saved money was doing it myself on my and hands doing and it knees. Ourselves. <laughs> that is the glory of DIY. I'm getting excited. <laughs> this is how to have a harmonious home. work away is that the second you show up at the work away, yeah. take the love like which, five which love one? languages test yeah. and so you're yeah. instantly integrated yeah. into the community. And then we know yeah. Jack, what are you? I am oh. touch, words of affirmation, and quality time. What are you? Well it's embarrassing. Are we allowed three? Um, Those are my top three. Okay, my top three. My, my top one is words of affirmation. My second one is gifts. That's the one I feel embarrassed saying. And my third one is touch. Mm. Uh, what do you think you are? I do like a sharing of the drudgery, which is an act of service, isn't it? That's important mm -hmm. to me. I think that's my mother's top one, probably. Touch is important to me. Mm -hmm. And talking. Quality time. Mm. It's good, it's an important thing to be aware of, really. Thanks. This is what we've been talking about all day. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we basically need to spend a lot of time with Natalia, we need to touch jump a lot, and everyone needs to leave gifts for me on the kitchen table. <laughs> we do this and everyone's very happy. <laughs> Unbelievably, after all our talk of love languages and my love of gifts last night, I've woken up today to find two parcels in the letterbox. This is a mystery parcel that I haven't been expecting. And this is a book that I ordered for myself. Oh, I'm so excited to read this. I ordered it because of last week's vlog where I went to visit Stefan's house, which was the birthplace of this author. And I realized that I hadn't read Manon Lescaut in the original ever. So I finally got it in French to read. Oh, this is superb. Okay, I immediately know who this is from. This is from my Dutch friend, Kim, and she'd bought me this mug before and it was my favorite mug. And I broke it and I was so upset. Oh, whiskey chocolate. I think I need to open that straight away with a cup of tea. Oh, wow. There's a clothes voucher as well. Kim knows me well. And now I have an excuse to go to Amsterdam to go and spend it with her. Thank you, Kim. My goodness, the universe is really answering my call for gifts. I see that even the peahen has left a little present on top of my car for me. Thank you, universe. I feel very loved. <laughs> 